Hi everyone, it's Patricia. Today I want to share two projects that I created for Roses as a designer. And uh, I created a card and I altered this box from Grac 45. So let me share with you guys the card first. And should be told, these are not the projects that I want to share with you guys today for I am Roses project. I had two projects done already since last week, but one of them got damaged yesterday thanks to my husband. I wasn't expecting my husband back from um, his business trip until tomorrow night because he's been gone for a week and a half. So he decided to come home a day early and surprise me yesterday night around 3 o'clock when he arrived and uh, he scared the bejesus out of me. I was working here at my desk last night and um, I was working on a different project for a swap and I had a fresh made cup of coffee right there in the corner of my mat and uh, he came from behind me with a Freddy Cougar mask of all things with a mask and he came from behind and squeezed me like a hug and I panicked. I thought it was a stranger and I spilled the coffee and went all over my mat and uh, the project that I want to show you guys today was actually over there on the side for me to record today the video because my memory chips are full, are packed and I didn't have any space. So yesterday made some space when I uploaded the video uh, to YouTube yesterday. So I was going to record it today but yesterday got all damaged and uh, I literally wanted to strangle my husband. He's very lucky that I didn't grab a tool for my desk because you guys know that we all have scissors and exacto knives, all sorts of tools that could hurt and uh, I didn't grab any of those I just literally punched <laughs> the person in the face because I didn't know who it was and um, and he's like stop it's Michael stop it and and uh, he took out the mask and I was relieved actually that it was him and not somebody else and um, but the project got damaged so um, I started working this morning on it already and it's supposed to be a mini Cooper. I made a mini album. The 3D project didn't get damaged, thank goodness for that. But the mini album did, it just soaked up all the coffee that was on my desk. And um, I started working already on it today so I could share you guys the mini album again. And the, the 3D project and I'll share you guys with the mini album. And these two projects, I actually made them today. I just finished it about 15 minutes ago. So I'm super happy. At least I still finished it on time so I can make this video and upload it to YouTube. So I hope you guys like these two projects. But I can't wait to finish the mini album of the Mini Cooper and share you guys uh, that mini album and the 3D project next time. So I hope you guys check that out too. So let me start with the card. The card, um, the base of the card is um, dark chocolate cardstock. And then I used the paper by um, Cray Paper. It's the Pretty Party. And this paper is really beautiful. I didn't actually use this paper pad. I used the 12 by 12 kit that I have. And uh, I also used some of the embellishments that comes with the kit also. So the butterflies and um, the strawberries and this uh, sticker right here, the birthday girl. So it says adorable birthday the card and also this banner is from the same line collection I punched out these butterflies using my Morta Stewart punch and then I also added some uh, Prima pearls to the center really beautiful this is a beautiful spray for my own roses and the item number to the sprays are SP1 really cute I love the two tone on this beautiful spray right here I also used two cherry blossoms for my roses adorable and also this huge uh, crochet flower and the item number to the crochet flower is JC2 and then on the center I added R8 small rose I just love how it came out together the two flowers and then I punched out some leaves by my Martha Stewart punch also I kept the card very simple because I didn't have too much time to uh, extend um, my projects today. And also this tape measurement is also from uh, the Cray Paper line and it's a sticker so I just added it there. Inside of the card is very simple. I just added the paper by the Purdy Party inside so I could write a sentiment there. And the back is plain also. So this is one of the projects that I created for today. And then the second project that I created is uh, an altered uh, Graph 45 box. And this is the, so this is the packaging it came in. Um, it's by Graph 45, 5x5 five five measures. It's a craft board altered art box. And it also comes with um, a type of a mini album inside. So let me show you guys what I did to the box. I also used the crepe paper pretty party 
paper line uh, throughout the box and I distressed all the edges with walnut stain by Tim Holtz and then on front of the uh, box I just used tons of embellishment die cuts from the paper line collection and also these beautiful sprays also but this is a different tone it's a light pink and the item number is also SP1 really beautiful I love that also two cherry blossoms for my roses and also this R8 rose right here adorable also this uh, die cut is from uh, the cray paper line and the bird and all these uh, die cuts also and then I also punched out some more to store leaves and then also some Prima Bling I added to the front cover of the box. Really beautiful. And then I also added this double satin green ribbon to the box for the closure. So it opens up like this. And I glued the ribbon over here inside this paper. And also right here to the side of the box. And then I glued this uh, die cut from the crepe paper line. This is delicious cupcakes. Really cute. And then when I open up the flap like this, on this uh, side right here, I also add a die cut from the crepe paper line and also a mat behind. So I can add a, a picture there if I want to. Let me just show you guys. It tucks in a tag like this. As you guys can see, I have everything a mess on the side um, of the papers that I just finished creating. So I can add a picture there. And here's a tab also from the paper line collection. And it says hello. And this is a sticker from the line also. On this side I kept it plain so I could just add a picture there. A full picture. And then when I open up this flap like this. I also put another mat down. Another die cut right there. And uh, I could also add another tags back there. And some pictures and journaling if I want to. Inside of this um, cubby right here I altered the small mini album that comes inside and then inside of the box I also add the paper from the the pretty party the cray paper collection and I also distress it with Tim Holtz um, walnut stain all the way around this is a die cut from the sticker line collection also from cray paper and these two little girls are too they're beautiful and also this smile that I cut here and I just pop dotted on her arm right there. On the two corners I have some uh, iron roses, two small uh, R8 roses right there. And then also some Martha Stewart um, leaves that I punched out. And then it closes up like this. So let me show you guys. I also did the back too. And uh, the small mini album that comes inside with the kit already when uh, you purchase this Graph 45, um, the 5x5 box so it comes also with this little book inside and I just added another ribbon right here for the closure and it opens like this I just made a small little bow there for the front cover I add some also die cuts from the Cray Paper Line collection and also this beautiful spray for my roses too another two cherry blossoms and more die cuts right here and this one right here too the greatest day really adorable so then it just opens like this isn't this precious guys I love that I can't wait to add the pictures inside and also to the other side as well it's really beautiful very simple so it closes up like this I just have to make a knot and then I can make bow or I could just actually add a little different charm here if I wanted to but I'm gonna add the I'm just gonna do a bow instead. So it closes up like this. So it's just a regular bow right there. And this still opens up like this. Really cute too. So then I just put it back inside of the box. And it fits perfectly. And it doesn't actually damage the stuff underneath it. So then I just close it up like this. And then make a bow right here too. I love using double satin um, ribbon on my projects. It's really classy and it gives such a cute look to any project. So let me just make the bow so you guys can see the finished project. I love making bows. So they're really adorable. 
So this is the the project that I created for today, the altar, the Graph 45 box. Really beautiful. Just let me give you guys another closer look. I didn't glue the flap down, the ribbon, to the actual box. I wanted a loose um, type of feeling because I just didn't want also the glue to show through the ribbon. So I just glued it right here at the edge and also inside the, the between the paper and the box. So this is another closer look. I hope you guys like it. And here's another closer look at the card. I hope you guys like the two projects I created for Iron Roses as a designer. Please stop by ironroses.com and show Buma some love. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching, for always leaving beautiful comments. And as always, guys, happy scrapping. Bye, guys.